launch a supplement company, right? Yeah, granted. Um, well, we launched in, it's been, we're on year three now. Okay. Um, uh, last year, or actually last month was the best month we've ever had. I mean, that's what you would hope, right? The business builds. But uh, so last month was the best month we've ever had. And we're, uh, we're making some good headway, I think. It's, it's, you know, it's a tough industry, obviously. So it's taken us a little bit of time to get moving, but everything's going well now. I was going to ask you, man, it seems like the, the supplement industry is very oversaturated with so many different companies starting startups, you know, advanced companies, huge companies. But how do you, how you compete with them? How, what, is your, what is your master plan here? Well, um, my master plan is a little bit different. You know, I've never been the get rich quick kind of guy, which is, it is popular with some other supplement companies. Um, as you know, I think it took me 15, 16 tries to get my pro card. Everything I do seems to take me a little bit of time. But uh, one of the things that I've tried to do over the past few decades is um, just treat people right. It's just uh, act with integrity and, um, you know, try to let people know I look out for their best interest and do the right thing. And that can uh, that absolutely gives me a benefit uh, in this case because there's a lot of people who who know me well, that support me, uh, and that are happy to do so. So, you know, if I say I'm going to do something and make a good product, they know it's going to be good. And I've never been the cheap guy either. So, you know, if somebody's looking for a twenty dollar pre workout, you know, I'm just I'm just not your guy. So, um, that's what everything's always been about me. My training programs. I mean, everything I've done, I, I'd rather take my time, do it right, treat people right. It's it's kind of the long uh, long way to do business, but um, that's okay. That's okay. It's worked out great for me, so I'm very happy. I hear um, some guys in the industry they preach kind of the saying, "All the supplements is just all fake." You know what I mean? Just eat, go train, eat, go train. Um, when you hear stuff like that, what, what do you think? What is your response to that? I don't blame them one bit. I mean, there's been so much crap that's out there. I mean, everything from protein spiking to these uh, super high stimulant pre-workouts that, you know, the terms crack people out. So, so there's a lot of poor products out there. And so I don't blame them one bit. So when I hear that, I think, yeah, man, I know where you're coming from. And the only thing I can do is just try to build a good product and have them try it. You know, we just launched a protein powder and I have I personally have issues digesting protein powders. <laughs> I can get the cleanest way isolate and it still upsets my stomach. So, you know, I just took six months to put together a formula, get the digestive enzymes right to where it doesn't upset your stomach. So, mm -hmm. you know, doing things like that goes a long way with people. And then and then once they see, wow, man, how, how did you do that? Then they think, okay, well, this guy actually does put some work into this. Now, you mentioned uh, protein powder spiking, right? Is that actually when, because I, I heard a lot about that as well, on uh, different instances on the news. Is that actually when they, well, what do they spike the protein with? Like, they actually put, like, s it, it, steroids it, in it? Like, what do they do with it? No, it's not spiking like that. It's, you know, you claim a certain amount of amino acids. Mm -hmm. And rather than put a, um, <laughs> the right essential amino acids in it, you might put a bunch of, of one cheap amino acid in it, just to mm -hmm. keep it simple. Mm -hmm. So it's very misleading, and mm -hmm. you know I don't I don't know I don't know that it how, how that it happens much now, but I mean when you see protein powder is not cheap, so when you see a company that's selling, you know a three four five pound bag and it's dirt cheap, like I know how much protein costs, so I'm thinking that's not right, like they're losing money. Um, if if they really pay what I think they're paying, then they're losing money. So it's just a matter of. Um, trying to trick the system but you know fortunately that stuff I think is I don't think it happens so much anymore mm -hmm. um, but there was a case basically I think it was two years ago where it was an MMA fighter that failed oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Test because he was taking some supplements by a company you heard about that oh uh, vaguely I don't I don't remember what what it was or I, I don't really remember the details um, mm -hmm. you know who knows who, who puts what in what anymore all I can do is just focus on, on what we're doing you know so you focus on putting the best ingredients in your products, granted, right? Absolutely. So what's the best kind of protein? You mentioned protein. What's the best kind of protein? Is it uh, whey protein? Is it, uh, they make, I think, a uh, like beef protein, right? Carnival protein and uh -huh. plant-based protein. What, what, what's the best kind? Can you teach me about that? 
You know what? It depends on what your goals are. You know, a lot of people like to say, well, way concentrate is inferior to way isolate. I'm, I'm, well, you do realize it comes from the same source, right? The, the only difference is the isolate's a little more processed. They pull out the lactose and things like that. They're both really good proteins. Um, casein, maybe it's not quite as high leucine, but it's still a really good protein. Plus, it's slow digesting, sticks with you longer. There's nothing more frustrating than, you know, you drink a protein shake and 45 minutes later, you're starving again. I'm like, mm-hmm. man, <laughs> it wasn't fun. Um, you know, and then you got the old school egg proteins and beef protein. The beef, beef proteins are a little more lean, like things like that that help your, um, more, more like your skin and your nails and things like that. So I, I personally like a blend. Um, I, I I build a whey casein blend that, that has uh, egg and beef in with it also. The majority is is way casein because I think that mixture is really good 